Hi, this is Todd, Land of Ath. In this video, we're looking at the basics of circles. We're going to start off with some basic terminology. We're going to talk about the, the formulas to find both the area and the circumference of a circle. And we'll look at how you can find those, whether you're given the radius or the diameter. And at the very end of the video, we have three different examples where if you want to pause the video and try them yourself, you can. So all that's coming up next on the Land of Math. All right, let's look at some of the basics of circles. So there's some key terminology we need to know here. If you're looking at the line from the center of the circle to the edge, that's referred to as the radius. The distance all the way across the circle through the center is called the diameter. And the distance all the way around the circle, that's referred to as the circumference. And then the area is everything that's inside of the circle. Like in this example, all the orange stuff would be the area. Now, when we're actually trying to find the circumference, there's a real simple formula that we use. Now, it's helpful to remember, circumference is the distance around a circle. It's sort of like the perimeter. It just has a special name called the circumference. So to find the circumference, all we do is we're going to take pi, which is a Greek letter, so pi. Now, we also sometimes use this little symbol right here. And so we take pi times the diameter. And the diameter, just to remind everybody, the diameter is the distance across the circle going through the center. And one other little thing, for pi, we usually use the number 3.14. Um, it's rounded off. Pi actually goes on forever and ever. So let's look at a couple examples of this. So first of all, if we're trying to find the circumference and we're given the diameter. So this problem right here, our diameter is 7. And we're going to try to find the distance around. Now, roughly, the distance around is always about three times bigger than the diameter. So here we go. So to find circumference, we're going to take 3.14. We're going to multiply it by the diameter. Um, we multiply it by, in this case, 7. So we'll go 3.14 times 7. And the 7 represents our diameter. And we multiply the two of these numbers. We end up getting 21.98 and that would be centimeters. So next we're going to find circumference, but this time we're given the radius. And we're looking at this problem. You can see our radius here is 3.3 meters. But when we're trying to find the uh, circumference of a circle, we really need the distance all the way across the circle. We need the diameter. So we have a little situation here. So if we remember our formula, it says it's, you know, circumference equals pi, and there's that 3.14. Normally we would go times the diameter, but we don't have the diameter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go 2, so we're going to take the 2, times, in this situation we would always just double the radius, so it would be 2r, or 2 times r. Now when we plug in the numbers here, it would be 3.14 times 2, and then it's going to be times the 3.3. .3. Now, for our purposes here, now we could have rearranged these, reordered these, but we're going to multiply the last two numbers first. So we have 3.14 times 6.6. .6. The 6.6 .6 is actually our diameter. So our circumference, once you multiply those two, is 20.724, and that would be meters. All right, our next section is finding the area of a circle. Now, when we're talking about area of a circle, we're talking about everything that is inside of the circle. So like the shaded area right here, this would be considered the area of the circle. The formula that we're going to use to find the area of the circle is going to be pi, which for us, we use 3.14. Um, and again, that's our pi symbol or the number we use to represent pi. And we're going to take that times the radius. And just a quick recap, the radius is that distance halfway across the circle, so from the center to the edge, and then we're going to square that number. So it's pi times the radius squared. So our first example is when we have a problem where we actually know the radius. And in this example, our radius is 5. So we know that the area is going to be pi, which is 3.14, and we're going to take that times the radius and it's going to be squared. So just kind of a quick little recap. And again, radius is that distance halfway across the circle. So for this problem, it would be 3.14, and it's going to be times, it's going to be 5, and then squared. And if we square the 5, we get 25. 
So now it's pi times 25. And when we do that, we get 78.5. And that's going to be yards and it's going to be square since we're talking about area. So that would be the area of that particular circle. Now this next circle is they're giving us the diameter. So on the problem right here, you can see they're telling us the diameter is 24 meters. But what we need is the radius. So the radius is just halfway across. The diameter is all the way across. So really all we have to do is just take the 24 and we can just divide it in half, divide by 2. And we do that, we get 12. So that's what our radius is going to be. So the radius of this particular circle would be 12 meters. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take pi times that 12, not the 24, but times 12, and we're going to square that. And that's going to give us our area. And so what we'll probably do here first is we'll square our 12, and 12 times 12 would be 144. And then the next step is going to be to take pi, which is our 3.14, times the 144. And we do that, we get 452.16, and that's going to be our area. So this right here would be, and since we're using meters, this would be meters squared. All right, in these next three problems, we're going to find the area and circumference in each of these. So this is great if you just want a little extra practice or if you just need some more examples to see. So here's problem one. We know the radius is 20 feet. So the first thing that's going to be helpful is figure out the diameter. In this case, we just double it, and so it would be 40 feet. So let's say first of all we want to find circumference. We know the formula is pi, which we use 3.14, times the diameter, which in this case is 40. So we're going to take 3.14 times 40. And when we do that, we're going to end up with 100. 25.6 and that would be feet because it's a distance just plain feet now and again that's the distance all the way around for area we're going to use that same 3.14 for pi we're multiplying it by the radius in this case it's 20 so we're going to multiply by 20 squared and when we do that now we'll go ahead and we'll square the 20 and when we do that we get 400 so we're taking pi times 400, and when we do that, we're going to end up with 1,256, and that would be feet, and that's going to be squared because we're talking about area. All right, here's our second problem. Again, these are just kind of bang, bang, bang. This one, we know the diameter. It's 12. So we really need to figure out the radius to help us with these problems. We just cut the 12 in half, so it would be 6. So the radius would be 6 yards. So now we can solve both these problems. So again, for circumference, we're going with pi times the diameter. And you can see our diameter is 12. This is the one that was given to us. We're just going to multiply those two numbers together. And we do that, we get 37.68. And that would be yards. So the distance around the circle, 37.68 yards. For the area, again, we know to find the area, it's pi. So there's that 3.14. Again, we see that a lot times our radius which is six and we're going to square it and so we're going to take pi times six squared and six squared is 36 so we're taking pi times 36 and we do that we get 113.04 and that's going to be yards squared okay because we're talking area and then our last example coming up here example three here's another one where we know the radius in this case the radius is 15 inches so we need to find out the diameter. We're just going to double it. So it would be 30 inches, and that would be our diameter. And now we can go ahead and solve these problems. For circumference, there's pi again, times the 30. And we do that, that's going to give us our distance around the circle, which in this case is 94.2 inches. It's the distance around the circle there. And for the area, we're going to take the same 3.14 again, this time we're multiplying it by the radius squared. So it would be 15 squared. And so we're going to go ahead and find out what 15 squared is. And 15 squared in this particular problem would be 225. So we're going pi times 225, which is 706.5. That's going to be inches. And because we're dealing with area, it's squared. Well, I hope the video was helpful. If, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. 
We'd love if you subscribe to the channel and you can always check us out on thelandofmath.com. Until next time, we'll see you on the Land of Math. <laughs>